Alzheimer's disease is ruthless. Once it strikes, there can be little done to slow it down. Dr. Todd Husty joins us now, and this does not just affect the victim. No, it uh, actually, it can be brutal for those closest to the Alzheimer victims who, like Nancy Reagan, must just sit and watch as their loved ones slip away. Okay. And we never thought this would happen. Like Nancy Reagan, Gloria Wheeler never thought Alzheimer's could happen to her husband, Bob. One of the things she said was, who do you share your memories with? Because the person that you would share them with is no longer there. He started losing some of those memories two years ago. I forget things from now and then. You know, where did I put a pair of pliers or where, you know, things like that. In clearer moments, Bob talks about taking part in D-Day in the Battle of the Bulge. Hang on to you, Bob. His big chore each day, taking care of their two cats. But in reality, he can't get along without Gloria. It changes your whole life, just, just everything. She says it's a lonely job. Even good friends seem to fade away when they hear someone has Alzheimer's. That's hard. That, that can get to me because I'm a people person and I need friends, <clears throat> excuse me, but that's hard. The Wheelers have turned to God to help them get through this, but Gloria has also learned that she has to do all she can to stay healthy. You've got to take care of yourself because what happens if something happens to you. And she says anyone in this situation should join a support group. Bob's trying to help in the support department too. I'm trying to not forget and I want to be, take the burden off of her, I'll try to do what I'm supposed to do. Other than his Alzheimer's, Bob Wheeler's a pretty healthy guy. That could help slow his Alzheimer's. That's why it's important for Gloria and other caregivers to take care of themselves and get some help. All right. Thanks a lot, doctor. Uh, there is help available here in Central Florida for Alzheimer's patients and their families. You can contact the Alzheimer Resource Center to reach counselors and support groups, and you can call 407-843-1910 or go to our website, WESH.com. The center is also looking for volunteers or donations to help serve Alzheimer's victims in Central Florida.